Have I read it? Obviously not, because I'm just buying it now. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul. Are we really surprised at this point? Because I'm not. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I found at the thrift store, I freaked out because it's like newly released or at least the sequel just got released and I think this one was the year before that but it is City of Brass by S.A. Chakaroborty. <laughs> Sorry for that pronunciation, but I don't know that much about this book other than it's an adult fantasy. Everybody who's read it has rated it super highly, so I'm here for it. Hopefully I also rate it super highly, but I saw it in the thrift store and basically freaked out because like it was just released. How the heck is it in the thrift store already? The next book I got, I'm actually really excited about because it's like super cute edition of it and it's The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman and it's like illustrated and the illustrations are like super cool. I'm trying to find the one that I like really liked. Hold up. Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it. Like they're just super creepy and I'm ready. I know that it follows a boy named Nobody Owens who is raised in a graveyard by ghosts and I just think sounds super creepy. I'm ready. I read the Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman and I really didn't like it so I'm hoping that I like this one but I guess we'll see if we ever actually pick it up. The next book I have I think sounds really good but could be wrong because I have never seen anybody talk about this book before so who really knows but it's truly madly deadly and this is by Hannah Jane. It follows a girl named Sawyer who's a boyfriend. Its name is Kevin and then Kevin ends up being killed. She goes to school the next day and there's a note in her locker that says you're welcome and it's basically the story of her trying to figure out who knows about her relationship with Kevin and what he did to her. We don't know what he did to her but apparently the killer does so I'm intrigued. I want to know what he did. The next book I bought because a lot of people say that this is like a super underrated book but everybody seems to love it. It's a poison study by Maria V. Snyder and it follows this girl who murders somebody and then the king's like poison taster, food taster to see if his food is poisoned dies and so the person who is up next for execution gets offered the job and that's this girl. You know, she's gonna be the king's food taster to see if they're poisoned but apparently it's hecka good so I'm ready. I'm excited. We are gonna read it and hopefully we can jump on the bandwagon with everybody else. And then the final book I have is like a contemporary romance, you know. You need a little fluff sometimes but it is on the edge by Alison Van Dypen and it follows this girl who is running through the park one night and she sees a gang beating up a homeless man so she tries to stop it and then that brings the attention of the rival gang's leader and he tries to like push her away but she's like yo you hot so like let's bone and then relationship shit you know that was a good description but I have seen this book around before and it was like a buy four get one free kind of thing so we were like let's go for it so we went for it all right guys so that was my little haul for today let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye i just hit myself in the face it's fine